Hey, little buddy. Ah, uh, you're cute. Welcome to a Fuji Wildlife episode. Today we talk about the flaws and the... Oh, God, why? Today we talk about the pros and the cons of the Fuji system. And we will learn something. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I thought that was a bird. It's just a garbage bag in a tree, but... I think it's still cinematic. It still counts. So we're on the Fuji X-T4 today with the 70-300. to It's my friend's, he's lending it to me, but due to his lack of urgency in wanting it back, I do believe it's just mine now. And if he wants it back, I can sell it to him at $100 less than cost, which will be a good deal for him. I'll try to find an armadillo or something, but the odds aren't good. So. Today we talk about the pros and cons, and the first pro is just the look that you can get from a Fuji camera, you'll probably like it. It's cinematic, it's not that like digital sharpness. Whenever you compare it to something, it's almost like a cinema camera. As the snow glistens on a log with the blurry background, the cinema's yours, it is yours. We'll switch to a couple different film simulations, we're just in Eterna right now. But, like, pretty much all of them just look like film. It's the film days, and especially if you take control manually, which I'm not doing, you can expect to get a great image, like, better than most cameras for the cost. Now we're in classic neg. Oh, wow. We'll find something moving eventually, but it's not looking good. But that's also one of the negatives, is that F-Log is the best for dynamic range, and then you lose all your film simulations. Fuji doesn't really have LUTs. They should just have LUTs. My god, there's a woodpecker. No. No. I'm in the worst spot. Come on. Is that even a woodpecker? It's something. Oh, what a wildlife episode this is. I found tracks. It's likely a bald eagle. Just walking along the lake. Oh, where will he be? Yeah. Why aren't you just at the end of the tracks? Why is there sirens? You're ruining my life, nature. Oh, you suck, Fuji. It's all your fault. That brings us to the one thing you're gonna hate when you're on a Fuji camera. It's the autofocus. Just not latching on there. No, you're trying. I had a beautiful scene all mapped out. Sure, there's lots of branches in the way. Just focus on the water, you piece of shit. Why does it choose to focus on nothing? rather than something. That's what I don't get. But it's pretty much like all the auto modes, if you take control, your auto are manually exposing, manually focusing, everything, like you'll love the image, but if you want Fuji to do it for you, good luck. Just a little side rant, by the way, it's like minus 25 degrees. I've seen 15 families passing by me. I'm trying to be all quiet here. <laughs> trying to not disturb the birds and there's like families with dogs shouting oh damn you all we're in classic chrome by the way so chrome like but yeah that's just the thing like the auto everything on fuji is a little hit or miss the exposure is gonna step randomly painfully autofocus will jump and hunt for birds that don't exist Oh, this is the worst day. We'll find one. Trust me, I'm gonna pan right into a frog. But yeah, auto everything. Painful. And the weird thing is, like, Nikon got phase detect pretty immediately. Like, they tried it once, and the Z6, like, just boom, did it good. Now it's even better on the Z6 Mark II. Z9, freaky. It's like, come on, do it, Fuji. Oh, you piece of shit. There's a focus square right in the middle. I hate you. That took way too long. Go ahead. <laughs> something cool shooting at? No. Oh, <laughs> I wish I, I did. Like <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Also there, I guess the trees are maybe bigger. Mm -hmm. You too. There's a guy. Track the guy. Oh man. Oh Fuji, you're so unreliable. We're in Pruvia standard profile it's almost like a macro lens really you can get 
right close up there. It's not bad. But yeah, that Fuji. I don't know. It could be okay for wildlife. It's just this lens. I don't know. There's not enough reach. I'm seeing things, but they're not within my reach. Uh, it's all right, but I think you might have to spring for that 100 to 400. This guy's playing hockey on the pond. That's how Canadian he is. Not that Fuji would even show it to you, but he has red pants. He's playing hockey. I'm on the pond. Uh, I went out. I'm afraid to cross it. Looks like it's getting thin. That can't be good. That cannot be good. You know, one thing you'll love about the telephoto glass. Amazing stabe. Amazing stay, but anything wide on a Fuji is bullshit. The wobbly ibis, it's like it's not good, but this, like I'm more impressed, it's better than Olympus. That's definitely a bird. Oh, fantastic. Oh man, I didn't expect this whole show to just be panning along logs, but that's something up there, and we're waiting for it to fly. I wanted to get some slow motion shots. Yeah, so Stabe, amazing for telephoto, but terrible for vlogging. So you'll love one and hate the other. Oh my god, a wild dog. Oh, he wants to kill me. Fantastic. Another thing you'll hate about Fuji, as I zoom in to prove that <laughs> this is the best parfocal lengths you'll ever have. Oh man, come on, Fuji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's the only wildlife out here <laughs> why hello to you my little friend how are we doing if you'll just turn around and face the front so you need like 800 to 900 mil at least one thing you'll hate is the polish or lack thereof little things like I'll get a lens error and I'll have to just turn the camera off, which just with certain lenses. I remember that 18 mil Tony two; it would just be like lens broken, <laughs> doesn't work. Turn off the camera. You have to like restart, and sometimes it'll read like card failure for no reason. I got to take the card out, put it back in. Like no other camera ever does that. This is the best footage you've ever seen. I'm stealthfully tracking an old man. It's wild. Oh man. Oh, come on. Old man. Oh, you stupid old man. You should have stayed at home in your sits bath, you piece of shit. <laughs> There's a dog that Fuji refuses to see. There it is.
there's one of those songbirds, but they move so much, they just laugh at you as you try to get them. Oh man, stop laughing. I can hear you. A uh, little, is that a chipmunk or a squirrel? I can't even tell. But food, you're not so bad. You're not so bad. I can't be mad at you. You have a great look. It just, it takes effort to get the look you want. Yeah, it's a decent little system. I prefer it for wildlife rather than vlogging. It's like the worst vlogging system. But wildlife, not so bad. Not so bad. We're in Eterna. You're an eternal squirrel. Blessing our hearts. Too bad you're backlit. Oh, I'm in the worst spot. I think I would lean the 100 to 400. I think you need it. You need it. So, he agrees. He looked at me. He's right. Think of how much... Or you get the teleconverter, but that'll ruin the autofocus even worse than right now. You can't make that box any smaller. Oh, God. You suck, Fuji. I hate you so much. I'm gonna leave. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, squirrel. I got a better vantage point. Uh, look at us. Look at us. Ah, oh, the cinema was ours.